October 18th, St. Luke the Evangelist. Luke was born in Antioch to pagan Greek parents. St. Paul met him and invited him to accompany him into Macedonia. This was about the year 51. He later became the constant companion of St. Paul, following him everywhere. He alone remained with Paul when he was imprisoned in Rome about the year 61. St. Luke is best known to us, though, as the historian of the New Testament acts of both Christ and the apostles. Though not an eyewitness to our Lord's life, the meticulous evangelists diligently gathered information from those who had followed or listened to Jesus of Nazareth and wrote, as he tells us, all things in order. The Acts of the Apostles were written by the evangelists as a sequel to his gospel, bringing the history of the church down to the first imprisonment of St. Paul in Rome in the year 64. The humble historian never names himself, but by his occasional use of we, instead of he or they, we are able to detect his presence in the scenes of St. Paul's life which he describes. We thus find that St. Luke sailed with St. Paul on his trips and journeys, he remained near St. Paul during the time he was imprisoned in Palestine. He accompanied him, still a prisoner, when he was transported to Rome. Thus he shared in the shipwreck and the perils of that voyage, narrated in chapter 27 of Acts. He then narrates two years of St. Paul's first imprisonment, ending in his liberation. This is where his narrative ends. But from St. Paul's epistles, we learn that St. Luke was his faithful companion to the last. His paintings of Our Lady are still conserved with care in a number of places in Europe. St. Luke certainly learned from the Mother of Christ herself the story of the Annunciation, the Visitation, and the angelic mission to the shepherds of Bethlehem. After the martyrdom of the Apostle to the Gentiles, St. Luke preached in Italy, Gaul, and Macedonia. Others say he also went into Egypt and preached. His mortal remains were transferred to the Church of the Apostles, built by Constantine the Great at Constantinople, with those of St. Andrew and St. Timothy. Some of his relics remain in the Greek monastery of Mount Athos.